counting down. We're gonna run. Here we go. Rope drop. And I can see people sprinting. Stand back from those doors. We're trying something new. Camping. Wow. Waltz seats. Absolutely. And they're making me lunch. Chocolate's a food group, right? Corn dogs and chocolate, that's all you need. That just made my day. <laughs> welcome back to Disneyland and welcome back to Neverland Adventures where you never have to grow up. I'm Kristen. I'm Jay. And I'm Brad. We are here at Disneyland in between the holidays, in between all the festivities, and we are going to show you a true OG Disneyland day. There's no more snow on the castle. The 100 year celebration has not started yet, so we're just going to have an OG Disneyland day and we're going to take you along with us. Let's go. And just like that, we are back at Disneyland. Rope drop in this morning. About to have an incredible time we are back rope dropping for real it's been a while since we actually rope dropped what a treat it is to actually rope drop meaning we're getting here before the park actually opens it is looking like it's gonna be an incredibly beautiful sunny day oh look at that oh it's just so exciting to be here and I always say if you're gonna get up and come here in the morning you might as well come here and actually get here in the morning and I'll tell you what if you can get here we noticed if we get here at 8 we can fit in five or six rides that normally have really long lines but if you get here at like 8 45 you've missed the golden window in fact that's what we're gonna start calling it the golden window all right here we go rope drop well our plan this morning i believe jake is haunted mansion right haunted mansion let's do haunted mansion because there's only one more week of haunted mansion <laughs> in the much. holiday yeah and then breakfast as usual i love breakfast food <laughs> We're counting down to the rope actually dropping. Is it eight o'clock yet? I haven't even looked. In a few minutes, the music's gonna come on and we're gonna run. Yes. Just walk. kidding, we're gonna walk. And there's where we're heading. The last week of the Haunted Mansion holiday. Look at this. Last day of Haunted, here we go. Morning. Beautiful morning to hit the Haunted Mansion. a success seeing the Haunted Mansion holiday one last time now that we're into the new year and the park has reverted back to its OG status. Let's just take one last second and listen to that music. Goodbye Haunted. All right now that the rush of rope drop has come to an end I'm just enjoying this um, very wide open New Orleans Square. I have to say again Look at this. It's amazing when you can get here 
And it really does feel like we have the entire park to ourselves, doesn't it, Chris? It's so cool. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we get up at 530. Because we literally feel like we have the entirety of New Orleans Square all to ourselves. I think in the morning when you're here and it's a little slower, you get the opportunity to appreciate some of the little details of the park. Definitely. Because you're not as rushed. There's no crowds. You don't have to fight for position to, you know, get anywhere or do anything. You just, it's a slower pace. Take a look at Splash Mountain, Jake, because it's going bye-bye before too long. Yeah, I, I don't know when it's gonna have its final close down, but I think it, my best guess, it's probably gonna be around springtime. Okay. Uh, that's probably my best guess when Splash Mountain at Disneyland will probably close. Yep, it will be time, closed. So. It will be closed before too long. I don't think it might not be closed at all this year. What do you mean? I don't know. I, I don't feel like they would close it right before summer, but maybe I'm wrong. I have a feeling they might do Disney World first and then do Disneyland. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe, maybe Because not. honestly, it's probably, it might be like the same team. Who's working on both? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Could be. So that's an interesting thought. Well, we'll see. Maybe we get to have uh, the OG Splash Mountain around for a little bit longer. Of course, they did say 2023, so maybe I'm wrong. It won't be this year, but we'll, we'll stay see. tuned. Stay, stay tuned. We'll, we'll let you know when we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a risk right now, and even though Rise is temporarily closed, we're gonna go test our luck and see if we can get in the queue. Okay, what are your thoughts? Just wait it out. I think the odds are on our side. So just got off the rise. Uh, that was a very fun ride as always. As always, and the wait was well worth it. It's, it's so special. It I mean, is. It's I so mean, special. just imagine if Walt was like alive and he saw Rise of Resistance. Oh my he gosh. Been can you imagine what Walt would be thinking if he saw this? He would, he would have been a part of it all. I mean, oh. that, that imagination. Um, Jake, what time is it? Breakfast time, and we're gonna get some English muffin sandwich. <laughs> all right, it's breakfast time. Let's go. <laughs> an interesting taste it has a little bit of sweetness to it i think it's the maple There's yeah some maple has some sweetness on it i it, love it it does this is probably a really good breakfast wow wow look at that munster cheese a little bit of bacon a little bit of egg and some sort of maple herb butter Ooh, that is good love it Well, guys, I think we're off to a good start so far this morning. I got to do Rise. Yes. yes. Got to do Haunted, which went really fast. Really fast. The time will fly by as always. It and does. I'm just excited to be here, especially now that the sun has really come up and it feels very toasty warm. I think Jake's still a little bit chilly. Yeah, I'm a chilly guy. Well, here's what I was thinking because it is such a beautiful day. I feel like going for a bit of a drive. All right. 
We just happened to be walking by right as Walt's fire truck was pulling up. I'm thinking we ought to go for a little bit of a stroll down Main Street USA on Walt's fire truck. Absolutely. I'm sensing where somebody wants to ring a bell or two. It's right there. The bell needs to be rung. It does. Walt's seats? Absolutely. Oh man, how do you enjoy driving Walt's fire truck? I've wanted to do it since I was like a kid. So. Oh wow. Absolutely. Dream dream job, dream it life. Is. The nine year old in me is just going crazy every day I do this. Oh so. my gosh. Let's head to the front of the park. Let's do. Ring the bell as much as possible. Let's go. Thank you, Steven. Hi, Mark. Is he real or is he in a figure? <laughs> Yeah, when I went to Westminster High School, we would, uh, on rainy days, we would ditch and come to the Tiki Room. I had two ants that worked on either side of Main Street. So, folks literally dropped us off when we were kids. That's incredible. But the truth is, on sun after Sunday drive, if we came to Disneyland, we'd have to wear clip-on black tie. White shirts, you had to dress up. You had to dress up back then. You did. That's changed a little bit. A little bit. Ooh, I love the little green alien guys. Ooh. <laughs> You have been chosen! Best tour guide of all time. I just pay you to say that, that's fine. And they're making me lunch. Chocolate's a food group, right? This tastes so much better here on Main Street. Oh, it does. How long have you been working here, Steven? Uh, not a minute since I clocked in in 2011. <laughs> if it's work, you're doing it wrong. Uh, amen. All right, guys, coming through. If you don't mind, get the curb if you can. Thank you so much. I don't want to curb your enthusiasm. You guys are awesome. So there's a picture of me in front of the train station, in front of the yellow car. I was about seven or eight years old. Oh, wow. Mom won't let that puller right off the piano. Oh, I'm sure. Like Super famous people right here. No time for autographs. Maybe one picture. Thank you, Steven. What a treat. That was wonderful. And right by Mickey. Look at that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Appreciate you very much. You very much. So that, fun. That was such a treat. Such a pleasure. Hey, Chris. What are we doing? We're about to meet Mickey Mouse. The Mickey Mouse? Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. The great thing about rope dropping is that you can get here so early and experience all of the Main Street USA attractions. It's just such a great vibe here in the morning and you get to meet Mickey Mouse. Is there anything better than that, Jake? Mickey Mouse? No. That's been ever. Well, it's always a special thing to be able to hang out with Mickey. Are you excited to meet Minnie Mouse? Yes, he's one of my favorites. Even adults can meet Minnie. Of course. It's Neverland Adventures. You never have to grow up. Well, we all got to uh, do a little bit of character meet and greets. That was fun. I'm excited to ride the train. Beautiful yeah. day for a train ride. All right, train ride, let's go. As we begin our journey, remember that for a safe trip, you need to stay seated keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. This is my favorite part of the journey. Around every bend, there's natural beauty as far as the eye can see. We hope you enjoyed your travels with us and that you'll come back to ride with us again real soon. For those of you staying with us, we'll be on our way again in just a few minutes. today we had so much fun we got to see the characters we got to go on rise of the resistance and haunted mansion holiday so i guess we did do one thing holiday related but 
Other than that, we had such a great OG Disneyland morning and I hope that you had so much fun. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another Neverland adventure. See ya.